Bosco versus Barangay Ginebras. This game is brought to you by Honda, the official motorcycle of the PBA. Walang Japet Aguilar, walang Scotty Thompson. The question is, Ali, who will step up for rivalry? You know, put them out of their misery, uh, sort of, right? Uh, but you want to have momentum. You want to have the good to reinforce your point, Carlo. Uh, you know, how Coach Norman Black is going to manage the legs of his team as we see Bon Quinto. The three and just take away Christian from scoring down low. Well, I mean, it, it is something that uh, it would be a good, a very good strategy here. And they open the ball game with a six to nothing run. This was their second basket of the ball game. Bigay ni Macbello, and then after another one. But, you know, those hands, those long arms, you know, and being able to challenge, even if it's a late challenge. That six early points, all on fast break opportunity. NT Tropangiga, the number one team in the league. And they will hold a twice to beat advantage sa quarterfinals. Kung matalo naman ng Barangay Hinebra. Go back to your point about, uh, you know, testing the legs of Hinebra. I mean, they're doing a really good job right now without having to run so much. But if the opportunities are there, that's what I'm saying. Christian Stan Hardinger, one of the things that he can do, make plays for his teammates and find the old two key players heavily. You know, and he's been really one of the bright spots this whole conference, especially the last few games for Inebra. Ganda ng extra passing more para sa Meralgo Bulls. Pringle for three. That's good. Seven points in the ball game for Stan the man. He might as well just go ahead and let it fly here. And it's really hard to climb out of. And the challenge, Ali, is that Coach Norman Black is already shuffling his players as Stan Hardinger becomes the first Barangay Hinebra player out. I don't know what I'm talking about. See Cliff Hodge, uh, Travis Jackson, Alvin Pasaol, all playing off the bench for Coach Norman Black. But Coach Limpon sticking to this starting five. Make the defending champions even bigger favorites for this Philippine thing that would pose as a challenge because you involve someone as good as he is into your system and everyone will have to adjust. That was a turnaround jump shot uh, from Simula naman sa Barangay Hinebra. They were down by double digits, now only down by four. Force-feeding Christian Stan Hardinger down low as he has six to add to the seven of Pringle. Junior read it well. What he did was he got on top of his defender, Noy Baclau, and sealed him and was able to get good position. Second three-point conversion for Alvin Pasaol in this heading into the playoffs. Pringle against Newsom. Goes behind the back. Pringle, fadeaway jumper off wow. the glass and in. you got to be kidding me. That was a beautiful move. Pasaol. And we're expecting that to be a theme as they get a steal here. Pinto down low. Gets the basket. Sloppy start of the second quarter. Contra Sabra. Pinto is joined by Pasaol. Jammer Hamito, Baclau, and Travis Jackson. For Coach Norm Black, that layup is good, and he is already in double digits. Alvin sit out, Prince Caperal, one dribble, sends it back to Dillinger. Pumatake naman si Derek Devil, the jumper is good. Well balanced, well executed, came into the game. JD, you know, Prince Caporal, Jeff Chan, they, got, they really got a, well, Jeff Chan's not in the game anymore, but the guys that came off the bench for never. A lot from Brian Enriquez, the rookie, has not gotten steady minutes from coach Tim Cohn as we get a basket from Aljon Mariano with the reverse. It's a nice move. Three game winning streak. Hoping to make it four. Bago ang pagsisimula ng ating quarter finals. Stan Hardinger gobbled up by the defense. Great D coming from Almazan. Pasaol spins. Showing us the strength and as the glimpses of it in, the, in early in the elimination round, and we're starting to see his full potential now. Another good stop for Samiralco Bolts points after a split from the line. Mulakay Jammer Hamito Pringle with a quick step, and he is gone. What well, is a nice play here? The baseline, his quickness, and his ability to explode past and above defenders like Raymond Almazan. 11 points in the ball game for Stanley Pringle leading the if they win against Meralco in this ball game. Well, that's a tough task considering what's going on right now in this first half. But I do like the jerseys. I will say that. Nine. The, the double Again. team, even a triple team contra kay Stan Hardinger. Bon Quinto is gone. They're not concerned about the opposite big of never. They're not concerned about... Blocked by Raymond Almazan. Quick forward pass to Bon Quinto. 
And he will score on another fast break basket para sa Meralco Bulls. Patuloy ang pamamayagpag ng number two team at the end of the Olympics. From Raymond Almazan, a, a really good rim protector. Well, I was very excited when I found out that he was going to be heading over to Meralco because I said, you know, this is exactly what the doctor ordered. You see what six foot seven, six foot eight center that can do so many things out there. Outside of the, the double double scoring and, the, and double figure rebounding, this Mac Bell and two points to go along with that. This is a key matchup. Stan Hardinger contra Almazan as LA Tenorio scores a quick burst of five points. A long ball. You know, in hopes of, he, of him really getting himself going in this game. But Bon Quinto with that post game. Second quarter, Mariano Umatake. Lusam tried to sell the contact for the help defense. All attention on Stan Hardinger, pero nakahanap pa rin siya ng paraan to put up two. He never in any type of breathing space, especially with the clock going down before halftime, you know, to where they make a big play and knock down like a, a big shot or something like that. So subukan tumakbo ng Meralco Bolts as they go to Chris Newsom. Quick attack coming from the Bolts. Fast break. Point for sa en, sa Meralco contra sa en legs. It was 11 to nothing yesterday against the Road Warriors. As Tenorio gets a response with that one hander in traffic. That was a good option. Both hoping for a Meralco victory because it will open the door for them to make it into the quarterfinals. As Aljo he can have more time adapting to this type of offense. He's going to be very, very uh, effective. The former teammates going at it, Joe DeVance, just not yet, not for the meantime, para sa Barangay Ginebra, L.A. Tenorio, the layup is good on the glass, as this is down to a 10-point advantage in the defense ng Barangay Ginebra that is working well for them. L.A. Tenorio more engaged, more in command of Inyo PBA Honda Philippine Cup 2021. Meralco Bolts, bumaba na ang kalamangan to just 8 points. Sandy Pringle patuloy na mag -aapoy. The extra pass, Pinto for 3, short. But they get the offensive rebound. Alvin Pasao puts it right back up. Second chance points, again, rebounding. Kapiral po, Poste contra kay Belo. Goes to Stan Hardinger. Christian, umatake, two defenders on him, not a problem. Good in Meralco will get another opportunity here. Step back jumper from the guard. Rattles out. Another offensive rebound. Lefty put back. Barangay Almazan. The hustle. Four for Barangay Ginebra. Clear foul. Contra kay Raymond Almazan. And Stan Hardinger is given. Elevating off of anybody or over anybody. You know, R Raymond Almazan is one of the better big men defenders. What I didn't like about that, which he didn't have to do, was... And, it, and you know what? It's a gamble. It really is a gamble. What kind of legs are they going to have, you know, in the crucial parts of the fourth quarter? L.A. Tenorio with another basket. He hit off a free throw. Cliff Hodge, extra pass. Hamito down low. Great defense coming from Barangay Ginebra. The band range jumper, nothing there. Another offensive rebound for Meralco. Karam, umatake sa gitna. The layup is good. That's what I'm talking about. You know, when he never... Look at this. Off the offensive rebound. Hindi na usap yung dalawang bigs. Both of them closed out long. Opening the door for Ancho Karam to attack and score. May tank screen mula kay Almazan. Binigay kay Alain Maliksi. Top of the key. Alain drives. Nice dish to Raymond Almazan down low. So that's two straight good passes coming. To kind of get out of hand. Plus, you know, he's, he's playing pretty well. He's shooting the ball pretty well. You don't want him to go cold. You know, by sitting on the bench a little bit too long. But I tell you, Joe DeBoss has been playing really good defense throughout this entire game. Uh-oh, uh-oh, trouble here. Ancho Karam, cherry-picking on the other side. That's Look at this, just a mishandled pass. Maybe Pringle thought that Tenorio was curling. Exactly, the handoff. He thought that L.A. Tenorio was going to come over and receive the handoff. So again, in Bacolor, Pampanga. Maraming salamat sa inyong patuloy na pagsubaybay sa One Sports. And Stan Hardinger is once again denied down low. Jeff Chan for three. That's good. He takes the three. Dribbles it closer. Belo. Kick out fast to Newsom. 
10 seconds still in the shot lock, but Newsom does not need it as he scores on the layup. Well, a player who certainly is not producing the same kind of numbers is Prince Caperal, the most improved player of last season. True, very true. And, you know, Battle Ali, 56 to 31 in favor of the Miracle Bulls. Mac Bello, the straightaway three is good. Well, he's been taking them, and finally, sometimes if you push a little too hard, it's, you're going to be called for an offensive foul. Chris Newsom from the outside, that's good. A three point conversion coming from Newsom. Joe, cross court pass. Pringle for three. Good response coming from Pringle. As they to try and stay in this ball game and battle back. Well, I like the patience by Joe Devon's really evaluating what the defense is going to give him. And he found Stanley Pringle all the way at the top. And some Stan, Pasaol has 15 on the bench. Quinto, Almazan, and Maliksi also scoring their fair share of baskets as Christian Stanford might be the key here. But they got to make stops and they have to rebound the basketball. Oh, good pass coming from Boquito. Stanley Pringle looked tired trying to sprint back on defense. Hamito just finding the gaps. Sa defensa ng Barangay Ginebra. Scoring back. No good. Rebound Bello. Good forward pass as Hamito scores again. Now you, you mentioned the Ginebra Nation as they're hoping to wear those jerseys at least one more time in the conference. Hamito, that's six straight points for him already. Seven points has been addressed. I've, I've been saying that the entire conference. And you know, you got to give hats off to Morocco for doing a really good job of that. And Christian Stan Hardinger. For the knockout match, 79 to 66 is your final score in favor of the Miracle Bulls. It was from jump to the final buzzer for them. Complete domination.